Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and we are going to talk about the standard assets in this video. So throughout the years, I've used the standard assets many, many times, and many other people, whether it's actual developers, indie developers, um, other tutorial creators on YouTube, we've used the standard assets. And over the years, they've slowly been phased out more and more. And unfortunately, Unity has not fully created an anything as an alternative and for a lot of beginners that is very frustrating it's sad as well i think it's i think unity could do with actually pulling something out of the bag and creating a replacement for the standard asset sooner rather than later because it's putting a lot of beginners off so i'm going to talk about where to get them still how to use them still and alternatives so for an alternative, if you are an experienced Unity user, you could probably go about creating your own. But I'm going to assume most of you are beginners, as my channel is aimed at beginners, people who are new to Unity, don't fully understand what's going on. Um, there are a couple of ways that we can still deal with the standard assets. Now, there are some packages in the asset store which do actually include, uh, for example, a first person controller or a car with controls. So for now, I'm going to assume you're probably here for a first person controller. So if we go to the asset store and search for something like flooded grounds, this is a fantastic asset, by the way. This does come bundled with a controller that you are able to use freely and easily. Wow. 29th of Jan, uh, 27th of Jan. 2019 I got that so it does come with a first person controller which you can just use nice and easy so even if you don't use anything else of flooded grounds you can easily just take the first person controller out of it and use it and if you go to package content you can always find what you need to in here so if you don't have a quick route through you'll be able to find anything you need to uh, in regards to um, the controller another one is um, I think I've reviewed it recently is illustrated nature and this one does have a sample version and that also has a first person controller with it the same applies for vehicles you'll be able to find vehicles that you can use so if you're following my uh, driving a racing tutorial series you can either search for one or you can listen on to the next section so although the standard assets are no longer in the asset store so if we try typing so standard assets you will not be able to find them however if you have downloaded them previously you will still be able to get them in your history so you can find them that way but let's assume you're brand new to unity and you're not sure what to do but you want to follow along with my wolfenstein or uh beginner's tutorial or first person shoes or something like that or even a driving a racing game let's say you want to follow along and use the same assets that i'm using uh it is probably worth noting as well I'm in Unity 2019.3, so it probably may look a little bit different uh, if you're using an older version. They kind of changed it. Still getting to grips with it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, if you go to Google and search for Unity Archive, you can go straight into the archive up here. Now, it's up to you what you want to go for, uh, but you're going to need to go with um, at least... 2017 unity 5 and an older version of 2018 so for example if i go down here to uh, let's say this version here 2018.1.4 you'll be able to see standard assets there and again it's up to you what version you use but for convenience let's go 2017 let's go i don't know or even unity 5 i guess but let's just go with this one and go with standard assets and all this will do is it will download the installation package for the standard assets. So if you are trying to follow along, like I say, with my driving and racing, you can't find standard assets. Uh, hopefully I'll have remembered to link this tutorial in every video, which is necessary. Uh, yeah, come here, download the standard assets, uh, give it a couple of seconds, 180 megabytes is a lot for some people. I think at the moment my internet is rather slow because everyone's at home. It's been throttled. I don't know. It's that time of year when, you know, <laughs> the things going around. You guys know what I mean. So all you got to do is just wait for this to download. Um, but there is a little extra thing as well. If you are following a first person uh, series that I do, any of the first person series I do, if you're following the driving a racing game, then you're pretty much done after you've downloaded this. And it's it's all good from there. 
Uh, I should have really downloaded this before I even started this tutorial, because I'm waffling now. If you don't want to hear me waffle, just skip about 30 seconds, because I'm just going to waffle a bit more. I've also reviewed this scene, by the way. It's a, it's a very nice asset. Might be worth checking out. Um, so yeah, this is nearly done now. So basically, all we're going to do from here is just install these standard assets and bring them into Unity. Now, as far as I know, this will always exist, so you'll always be able to get the standard assets this way. Um, it is genuine as well, obviously, because it is straight from the Unity website. And all you need to do is install, accept the agreement, as always, yep, Unity standard assets, and install them to where your Unity is. I get well, yeah. I guess you can install them anyway because it doesn't really matter too much, but I've got them going to my current version. Just takes a second to install. All good. Finish. And now let's go back into Unity. Right click, import package, custom package, and then you can select whatever you want here. So if you want the vehicles, because you're following that one, select the vehicles. If you're going with the characters, you want the characters because of the first person controller, but it's always a good idea to make sure we install everything, I guess, because some things may be useful. Um, there are a couple of things which you may not necessarily um, need um, because I think this may cause an error caused by forced reset because we don't actually need that script for what I use it for in these tutorials. So if you want to follow along with any of my tutorials, as I say, don't include the forced reset in there. And I think there is another one but we will soon see. So let's import that. Give it a second just to import. And you can see we now have the standard assets with an error. So let's go to console, see which one it is. Oh, simple activator menu. So we don't need that one. So you can basically just click that. It will highlight it here and we can get rid of that. We, we don't need it. Everything will function without those two scripts. The forced reset and the simple uh, activator menu, you can get rid of those. Now, like I say, if you are following the um, driving and racing one, you'll have the vehicles. Well, you should have the vehicles. It's not imported. Why have you not imported? Let's re-import. Let's make sure we get the right one there. So let's get the vehicles in as well. Uh, yep, vehicles there. So let's just import them so we can see. Now it's going to look a bit strange when I drag a car into this scene because obviously a car doesn't quite fit into this scene. But we can see if we go to vehicles, car, prefabs, there is our car. So like I say, if you're following along, there you go. There's your standard asset. No problem. Now the first person controller is a little bit peculiar, but that doesn't matter too much. If we go to characters, first person controller, prefabs, and there is the first person controller. It is slightly different than the one I use uh, for whatever reason. Uh, if we press play, we can see that it doesn't want to work. So what might be a good idea, because that doesn't want to seem to work, I'm not entirely sure why, but either way, I will link you to this uh, prefab that you can use, the actual first person controller. So all you would need to do is get your standard assets from the Unity website, bring in the first person controller, and you are good to go. Perfect. So like I said a million times before, if you are following any of my first person series, whether it is the um, you know beginners, the Battle Horde, or the Wolfenstein, or any of those, this tutorial should hopefully prove very, very useful. Now, I know this is very draconian, very archaic way of getting a first-person controller. However, once you are experienced in Unity, you'll be able to create your own. And like I said, as I aim for beginners, this is a simple and easy way to get beginners up and running with a first person controller. And I know some of you in the comments are gonna say, Jimmy, that's old. They've deprecated it. They've got rid of it for a reason. They may have got rid of it for a reason, but like I say, I just want to help beginners understand. I want to help beginners learn. And there's no better way of letting them learn than allowing them access to something like the first person controller. And when Unity Technologies do finally create that replacement for the standard assets, I think it's gonna be fantastic. And I can't wait to see 
what they do. I just wish they'd hurry up. <laughs> so guys, yeah, uh, if you've had any problems with the standard assets, hopefully that has resolved it. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with all little videos like this, tutorials, reviews. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching.